Could be, could be. All righty. <laughs> On to the Purple Bowl of Destiny. Destiny, here it comes. What's oh, this? Dude. What's this? Right. That's not the Purple Bowl. It's pink. Ta da! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, phew. I was getting scared there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm never sure. I'm never sure. Right. Okay. Say when. I'll look away. Okay. Uh, okay. Now. Right. Oh, that's one there. That one leapt into my hand. Oh, okay. We haven't had this one for possibly a verse. Heavy metal. A bit heavy blurry, metal. but heavy, heavy metal. metal. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so we've had Latin and heavy metal tonight. This one should be pretty. You know, I think the other one, Rich, that was just fell out of my hand was classical. So, oh, ah, oh. yeah. And we haven't a classical for some time. I'll have to choose a classical one. Uh, there's not been many uploads. There's a few uh, here and there. There's, there's a few around, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. And they tend to be the sort of more um, uh, uh, music, film, and TV type compositions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if they're classical. And it's a lot of that kind of music, you know, so it's good stuff, but similar stuff rather than actual, what I would call, you know, proper classical yeah, it's music. Yeah, like movie theme style. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot of that, yeah. So, um, but, uh, yeah, there's a heavy metal. We, I don't think we've actually had much. We've had a little bit. We had uh, Tim McMillan, didn't we, before, with a sort of proper sort of metal song. Yeah, no, it hasn't been much at mm. all. So uh, this one it would be uh, the newest one. I can't believe this is really kind of like striking me as very odd. Mm -hmm. Heavy metal, 217 members only. That's, oh. that's very few for heavy metal. That's not very many, is it? It really is. Mm. The metal... Genre had had quite a had quite a few more, but uh, this is heavy metal. Oh no, our vile goddess. Also, we had on. The oh episode. yes, we did. Well, the, the, the was sort of thrash metal type yeah, thing. That, that was the yeah, thrash. yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, here we go. So, Michael Nervous. Let's learn a little bit about Michael Nervous here. <laughs> Michael Nervous is from New Braunfels, Texas, USA. Look at this. Not bad stats. 89 followers, 3,719 plays. Wow. With, oh. uh, 30 tracks. Oh, that's uh, very good. A bunch of, a whole bunch of, I think he just popped in everything that he could as far as the genres are concerned. Because we got. And it's like he's got a huge yeah. list, doesn't he? Urban Talent, Distro Kid, Urban Hip Hop Underground. Yes, yeah, so mm. I would say that, that he's just uh, kind of like trying to cover all bases there. But we got 86 influences. Black Moth Super Rainbow. Have no idea there. The Orb Chemical Brothers. I know the Chemical Brothers. Hmm. Uh, Steve Hauschmidt, John Duff. Hopkins, Olivia Block, Beach House, Moon Duo, Not Waving, Beck. Uh, there's a big one there. Sonic Youth, Depeche Mode, MGMT, M83, Bjork, Pixies. I think that, yeah. I think that we just have... Hmm. Well, this is what we do with the Purple Bowl of Destiny. This yep. Is, yeah, yep. This is the uh, newest track of the heavy metal genre. Um, Michael Nervous. This song is called Bad Back. Let's check it out and then we'll chat about it a bit.
Okay, whoever wants to uh, start that one off, you're more than welcome to. Oops, sorry. Well, should we say Rich? <laughs> throw you yeah, the yeah why not? Why not? Let's, uh, Rich, <laughs> our guest. Our throw guest you to the line. There we go. <laughs> throw me to the line. Yeah, um, it's very electronic. I, I, I can't see a heavy metal side to the track, to be honest. Um, towards, I think, after the beginning, it, I could hear little bits of Depeche Mode in there. Um, it's very sort of eighties electronic, isn't it? Were they having Were they having a seizure? Um, <laughs> but when when you got these very quick, it, it almost seems like random notes, um, sort of going round and round. You know, like almost like they're having a fit or something. Sort of, um, yeah, it's it's, it's very different. The, the bit where it's very random, I, I I can't quite get into that personally because um, I can't pick up any sort of melody. It just seemed to be a lot of random notes together and there was too much going on for me at that point. I know it's a personal thing. Um, it's obviously very cleverly produced, um, but it wasn't quite for me. I quite like the beginning, but that bit that went very random, I, I couldn't. That wouldn't be the sort of thing I would normally listen to. Maybe it could be used in in some sort of maybe some maybe some type of gaming um, mm -hmm. type of thing. Maybe if it was put into the right sort of thing, I could imagine it be using being used in a game of some sort because of that randomness of the music. Um, that's what I would say. It's not personally for me. I appreciate it's very clever the way it's been produced. And I could see it being used in, in gaming specifically. I'm not sure it would be a mainstream sort of track that that people would listen to on the radio. I'm not sure. But that again, that is just my that's just my personal view. Yeah, I agree. Um there you know there may be a market for this for this type of music it's definitely not in the um it's definitely not in the mainstream um i it goes back to this thing where i really don't know what 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 kids are like listening to these days if this is something that appeals because i i know that they started doing the the one thing right where um where they like really pumped up the volume on the rap songs so that way the uh the music was super distorted as it was as it was kicking. So I don't know if this has to do with uh, with maybe kind of like following that type of trend. And um, I'll call it a trend because I really don't don't think of this as a genre. Because uh, you know, I'm going to say for for a genre of music to be collected, uh, it would have to mean that there would be a mass appeal. To that genre so i really wouldn't call this a genre and i think that maybe this is why every single genre like in the book was was picked for this song uh, which was synth wave upcoming alternative rock dance classical metal blues you know southern hip-hop guitar indie rock uh, progressive metal it just it really doesn't fit anywhere but it fits everywhere at the same time so um even though the there might be a limited audience listening to this. This definitely, I don't think, I think possibly Michael nervous understands also that this is not a, um, sustainable sort of genre to be in quote unquote, Carlos, what say you here? Yeah, say I mean, I've, I've got written down the same thing, gaming music. And, um, I think, um, yeah, there's a, there's a niche, a very niche market for it. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not really heavy metal, but it's it's like a Commodore 64 doing heavy metal or it's a uh, craft work programming, programming a ZX Spectrum or something like that. But uh, it obviously took a long time to program. And the odd thing is, right at the end, there's a little bit of sort of 80s or late 70s, yeah. early 80s Vangelis sort of synth, you know, this <laughs> right at the end thrown in for good measure. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's not unenjoyable, but um, it's very niche. I think this, that's the big takeaway from that one but yeah there 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 are people that that do like um the sort of gaming music and the technical computer music so yeah there's a space for it it won't be on the radio but it, there is a space for it okay well purple balls one for two today so 
<laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give it that much. So, yeah. no, I, I feel, I feel, listen, this, this may be also, um, you know, a young producer coming into their, uh, coming into their own skin. So if, if that's the case, obviously uh, we wish you the best of luck. I just, mm. I just, honestly, I just myself personally at this moment with as kind of like uh weird eclectic and as fast paced as that song was, I just, I just don't see it. But if Michael Nervous is enjoying doing what he's doing and he's reaching out to yeah. a limited small Absolutely. audience, and, you know, if it's if they're enjoying it, his audience is enjoying it, then that's doing its job. It's good. Ab- yeah. Absolutely. 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 Listen, there's no such thing as bad music. No. If if you hit even just one person and you leave an impact with your music on just one person, then the music has done its job. And I'm sure that there is at least one person out there that that uh, that, you know, that will enjoy that uh, thoroughly from from, you know, from uh, from start to finish. And uh, and yeah, so just once again, just uh, don't ever get discouraged if you're if you're if you're making music, especially if you're making it for the first time. I know people are very shy uh, about putting their music out for the very first time, especially if, uh, you know, like, let's say if there are singing behind it, right? Like myself personally, um, my first song that, that I released was called The Outer Limits. And I was super nervous hitting that submit button and it finally mm-hmm. being out there on the internet because I knew I knew what was happening is that at this point, everybody and their mother could possibly hear it. Maybe nobody would hear it, but just the thought of everybody and their mother hearing that song was enough to really cause a lot of anxiety on this side of the keyboard. So I do understand that, um, you know, um, especially with young producers and especially with uh, 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 vocalists, if you're putting your voice out there, especially also, then that just gives even that much more anxiety to the, um, to the entire thing. So, just what just here listen don't be discouraged with the music that you're doing keep doing what you're doing mm. at the underground sound Absolutely. you're gonna love to hear it either way so but think of that impact that you may make to one person right so just uh don't give up on the dream of music music is absolutely fantastic whether it ends up on the radio or whether it ends up as a comment that somebody had made you know 10 years down the line. So uh, 